Hello and welcome to this retrospective of one of the most memorable moments in sports history, the 2004 Boston Red Sox winning the World Series after an 86-year drought. We should start this story with the Red Sox curse, as it was called. The Red Sox curse refers to a superstition that held that the Boston Red Sox were cursed and would never win the World Series. This superstition was rooted in the belief that the Red Sox were cursed by the Bambino, a reference to Babe Ruth, who was sold by the Red Sox to the New York Yankees in 1919. According to the legend, the sale of Ruth to the Yankees marked the beginning of the Red Sox curse, and the team would not win a World Series title again until the curse was lifted. The Red Sox curse was a source of frustration and disappointment for Red Sox fans, who watched as their team came close to winning the World Series on several occasions, only to fall short. The Red Sox made it to the World Series in 1946, 1967, 1975, and 1986, but they lost each time. The Red Sox curse became a cultural phenomenon, and it was widely discussed in the media and by fans. Many people believed that the curse was real and that it was responsible for the Red Sox's failures. That would all change in 2004. For Red Sox fans, the 2004 World Series will always be remembered as the year that everything changed. After 86 years of disappointment, heartbreak and near misses, the Red Sox finally broke through and won their first World Series title since 1918. They had to overcome a number of challenges, including a historic comeback against the New York Yankees in the American League Championship Series. The Yankees had won the first three games of the series, and many people had written off the Red Sox as finished. But the Red Sox refused to give up, and they won the next four games to advance to the World Series. In the World Series, the Red Sox faced off against the St. Louis Cardinals, and the stage was set for an epic showdown. The series was a back-and-forth affair, with both teams winning two games each to set up a decisive Game 7. In the final game, the Red Sox were led by their ace pitcher, Kurt Schilling, who had been battling an ankle injury throughout the series. Despite the injury, Schilling gutted out a dominant performance, pitching seven shutout innings and leading the Red Sox to a 4-0 victory. When the final out was recorded, Red Sox fans erupted in celebration. After 86 years of waiting, the Red Sox had finally won the World Series. It was a moment that would be remembered for generations to come.